Hi, hi everyone. I'm here again. Yes. Oh. Hi, hello. Well, good. <laughs> Don't need to check. Um, let's start. Hi everyone, it's me here. It's um, 20th of March, 2021. I'm in Australia, Adelaide. Yeah, this is my day eight of quarantine. Still another seven days to go. So next week, exactly today, Saturday, I'm getting out of this uh, quarantine. So fingers crossed, uh, so far, Hi, Leo. Hi, Marty. Thank you. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> um, well, I think I'm doing well. Mm, yeah, you can see I'm, I'm healthy and um, uh, the voice. Yeah. Well, yeah, um, it's, it's quite hot here. And it's 31 degrees today, and uh, well, it's hot. <laughs> so I'm in quarantine. That's my that's my quarantine shorts and the t-shirts. That's my quarantine dress. Um, how do I? Well, before I start, I think yes, I'm. Is it the night is not okay? Nothing more I can do because night changes. But that's all right. You can see me. <laughs> Before I start, I'm going to say a big thank you to Mark from Ireland. This is a flower. Oh my God, this is the best, best present I can get in quarantine. Mark, thank you very much. Mark from, this is a, say from Ireland, from Mark. Thank you very much, Mark. This is such a good present. And it's been uh, like, that's, uh, I think he sent the flower to me on day one or day, day two of my quarantine. It's been a week. And uh, the flower is still so fresh. Oh, oh my God. That's the best thing happened. Because, uh, yeah, in quarantine, I don't, I can't go out. I think you just don't see flowers. So that's something natural, something makes me feel in touch with uh, nature. That's what I'm really, really missing. So far, I'm, I'm doing well. And uh, I have to say thanks to my fans like Mark, thank you very much again. And also thanks to my mom, dad, family and friends. They just so caring and loving. They send me uh, you know, flowers and uh, they try to talk to me online, keep me uh, just feel uh, in touch with the outside world. So that's so it's been so helpful. Thank you very much. Mom, are you? She just called me uh, a couple of minutes ago. I'm going to call her back. <laughs> uh, another week, um, I'll be out. But I, I actually I plan to, to stay in Adelaide for extra two or three days. <laughs> just, you know, because uh, I've never been here. And uh, I stay here for two weeks. I, I have no idea how Adelaide look like. But uh, from my balcony, I can see it's a very good, very beautiful city. And, um, and uh, Adelaide is famous for uh, wineries. And uh, so I might as well just take an um, extra a couple of days, just have a look around and do some sightseeing. Hmm, yeah. <laughs> I've done, today is day eight. Uh, we've done test on day one and the uh, second test on day five. So I'm all negative. And uh, we're gonna do another test on day 12, which is next Wednesday. So if it's all negative, 
I'll be free to go on Saturday. That's my day 15. So fingers crossed. Yeah, hi. I'm um, so far. I feel uh, good because um, yeah, it's 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 um, quarantine, but um, uh, people here are so friendly. I don't see any people, but um, um, everybody around here, you know, they, we we the rules we cut definitely. People ask me, can you come out? Just a little bit. No, not at all. I can't even open my door except picking up food. So that's very, very strict. This is quarantine. And um, um, yes, uh, we've got phone calls from, well, they call us every day, police, uh, nurses, and uh, Southern, South Australia uh, uh, Disease uh, Tracking Center. Actually, actually, from my plane, there's one person has been tested positive. So I was classified as a close contact. But actually, they 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 identify me as clo uh, a close contact. So my old my my seat number. But actually, when I got on the plane, I've changed my seat after I after the plane took off because I thought it's uh, one side on my side. It's one by one, each row's got one person, so a little bit, um, you know. And on the other side of the plane, it's uh, almost empty. So I think, well, after to take off, I'm going to move to the other side. Well, I did move to the other side. So they, they counted me as one close contact uh, because my, my, my seat number I told them I actually moved to the other side, but anyway, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter regardless. You know, on the same plane, you know, you breathe the pretty much the same air, use the same toilets. So anyway, I am one of the close contacts. So far, so far, all the test results been negative. So I'm doing well. The on the I I'm not positive. Oh, well, the test result not positive. So. Fingers crossed on day 15, I'm looking forward to come out of this uh, a luxury jail. There's a jail anyway. <laughs> well, I'm kind of doing well because I think quarantine is, uh, uh, that's why I'm going to talk about something about, uh, you know, in isolation. It is, I'm, I'm coping well, but I, of course I don't like it. Um, I have no problem actually being alone. I, I, you know, most of the time, I I am alone. I can do lots of things when I'm alone. I I read books, um, study German because I have to pick up, you know, keep learning German. Otherwise, I forget. And uh, I'm doing yoga every day. And my program, my fitness program, I've been doing heat H I I T now high intensity interval training, which is very helpful because uh, that training is all designed for a small space. As long as I have like uh, two or three square meters, I can do that. I can do that in hotel and anywhere on the beach or anywhere. So I don't need to go to gym to do my fitness program. So that's very helpful. Um, it's so, so important in isolation or quarantine to keep moving because otherwise you are stuck in a small space and your body just getting so so stressed and mentally it's easy to get stressed actually i, I think mentally i'm doing uh, quite well i i haven't even turned the tv on yet because the tv is just over there i just uh, this is that's the the bed the tv is this side so if you want to watch TV, you pretty much go to get on the bed. Um, I try to avoid that because I, I try to keep my normal routine. Um, yeah, I'm not an early bird when I get out the bed about eight or nine o'clock <laughs> in the morning. And then I don't touch the bed until 11 or 12 in the evening to go to bed. So that area bed is just for sleeping. Um, because I don't watch TV, that's why. Because I think if you watch TV, you have to get into the bed. So if you watch lots of TV, I don't know how other people coping. 
um, you're going to stay in bed most of the time in quarantine. So I don't think that's healthy. That's why I try to keep the bed separate. So my, this is my office, this is my office. Yeah, so this is my, oh, wow, really, this room is so good. This is long street. So this is my room. So I do my, actually, I've been doing quite a lot of business actually in quarantine and I, I'm probably busier than in Germany because Germany, I don't do much business for New Zealand and Australia. And now I'm here, I have to deal with business in New Zealand, business in Australia. And I uh, got answer calls from um, police, nurses every day and friends, family try to call me. Um, so I've been quite busy. <laughs> my, in my quarantine office. So that keeps me busy. So I think when you are in quarantine or in a isolated or probably being locked down or something like that, keeping a very normal routine is very important. And definitely do lots of exercise. The exercise, I, I just, I think best way come out of this quarantine is my yoga skills. my breathing skills. I, I, it's not just my routine because I do yoga every day, stretching myself. Oh yeah, it's just, you don't move much. You don't move much. That's why you need to do lots of stretching. And um, that's my, I, I'm doing my daily yogurt. Um, also, I the best, uh, I think, pick up a skill for my quarantine is, I'm just expanding my yoga uh, exercises because I've got an app, Yoga Go. And I downloaded it before, but I haven't used it. I don't know, it's probably useless. So I just do my routine yoga, that's enough. But this time, I really feel, well, I strongly recommend that too. The app called Yoga Go. Anyway, that's designed to, so all sorts of yoga. So this time I've, I've been practicing yoga throughout the day like uh, evening i have bedtime yoga yoga for sleeping that's why i'm doing well for sleeping and uh, uh, jet lag i can't feel much about it a little bit of course but uh, generally i'm doing well and uh, yoga for back back oh i've got yeah i, I i've been uh, correcting my posture so i I can I sit and standing much more straight and my back is stronger. So I've been doing uh, yoga for uh, best posture and uh, yoga for good back and yoga for lower back, yoga for my neck. <laughs> I mean shorts, yes. <laughs> so I've been improving my yoga skill a lot and because normally i only do my yoga routine yoga and do i don't do variety of yoga this time i've been picking up yoga different types of yoga so it's really helpful um i've been doing lots of reading because when you can't go outside you have to turn inside that's that's something very important. So you have to just, that's why I just turn inside internally. You have to be, you, you spend lots of time, well, basically talking to yourself. And um, actually, I think probably everybody should have this kind of time of uh, not for two weeks, one week is, one week is really good. Yeah. Uh, so I've been doing lots of uh, meditation and uh, thinking, planning, reading. I've been reading. People ask me what kind of book I'm reading. I'm reading, um, what's that? Well, audio book. I like audio book because um, otherwise my eyes getting so tired looking at Because basically I'm looking at the computer screen. You can't look at anything else. Well, I try to go out yeah, very often to my balcony. Uh, to look further and uh, the big picture that's the book I'm reading that's uh, I recommend uh, audio book otherwise my eyes getting really really tired because I just 
chatting on the phone, reading, you know, just um, you don't do much. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, the big picture by Sean Carroll. So this kind of book I like is about the universe, life, meaning, and quantum physics in general. So, yeah, so having a good book um, is very helpful. Also, I've been spending more time learning German. So having some kind of program to keep you uh, focused, keep your mind um, active, because you, you're not very active. That's why that's hard. I think generally I've been very, because um, I just feel positive and uh, I've been coping well. But of course, if I have a chance, I, I wouldn't go through this. Um, I think two weeks uh, is about too long. And uh, actually in Germany, Europe, um, Germany, you only um, like uh, quarantine for three to five days, one week is maximum, even if you are close contact for someone tested positive. So uh, I think two weeks, it's quite, um, quite long and, and it's quite expensive. <laughs> 3,000 Australian dollars and I have to pay for that. Basically, I'm paying for the luxury hotel. Oh, I'm paying for a luxury jail to isolate myself. Uh, well, I, I do feel um, yeah, this uh, quarantine is, it's, I don't know, this length if it's necessary, but um, um, although I'm coping well, but I do feel I can use a word called um, quarantine fatigue. Yeah, you do feel not, uh, I think it's it's uh, physically, mentally, emotionally um, quite challenging. Um, fatigue. Uh, it's not a fatigue is from not moving enough. <laughs> he just, I so miss, I so miss the days to walking and running in the forest in Germany. Because I, I, I do run, in, especially now it's uh, springtime. The springtime in Germany is very beautiful. And um, I, 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 most of the time I run three times in the forest. Oh, I do miss the uh, smell of the leaves, of the flowers. Yeah, the smell of the forest. I, I think the, the thing I miss the most is nature. You, you, can't, you can't touch it. You can't walk through it. And you stuck here. Um, second thing I missed, of course, I'm missing is the human touch. You know, uh, of course, we can talk. We can talk online, uh, texting, but nothing, nothing can compete with a real human touch. Smiling, just. Yeah, yeah, that's that's why it's so. That's why I feel kind of fatigue. It's it's emotional fatigue. Uh, physically, physically, uh, fatigue come from not moving enough. You know, I although of course yoga help help a lot, and I, my program help a lot. But I really want to want to run and walk. Oh, I can walk in my room. That's about 25 meters. Yeah, some of my team, ground team members, they say they, they walk uh, two to 2,000 to 5,000 steps from this side to the other side. Yeah, I think, of course, it's, it's, it's viable. You can do that. But <laughs> that's so boring to walk from bathroom to the door, to the door from bathroom. Yeah, I am. Um, 
Yeah, that's that's uh, the, the physical fatigue is comes from not moving enough. That's why I try to avoid watching TV in bed. Otherwise, I'm going to lie down all the time. So uh, that's uh, emotional, physical fatigue and uh, um, mental. Oh, yeah, that's why we've got yeah we've got mental health workers call us every day to check us if mentally we're coping all right because yeah it's it's quite mentally challenging you just sort of get anxiety some people get depression uh, i don't have that kind of problem but frustration oh I, I think sometimes i do feel frustration it's just um day eight i think at the moment that's probably the most difficult time because you you're halfway through and uh, you settle into the routine, which is routine. That's getting more boring, and still another seven days to go. So it's it's a difficult time. Um, and the food. Oh, I have to say, their food is very good. Uh, they've tried best to look after us. Food is good. Oh, the sun is. Uh, yeah, yeah, the lights changes anyway. <laughs> Yeah, but um, the food just, uh, yeah, they, they, they supply a variety of food. I really appreciate that. I try to do vegan. So, well, to, to try to, to I, basically I eat, I can eat everything, but most of the time I'm 95% vegan. And um, the other time I can, I can eat everything, but I try to stick into vegan so I don't overeating. It's very easy, very easy to be overeating and you are not moving uh, enough. So, so, so easy to to put on weight. So I think so far I'm doing, I'm doing all right. I, I hopefully I didn't put on too much weight and you know, I try not to eat too much. But uh, yeah, after one week, you just a little bit sick of the food. Of course, that's quite, <laughs> I'm Chinese. I, I, most of my time I, I would like to cook for my own thing and um, being vegan, I really miss the Chinese tofu because Chinese can make the variety of tofu products so nice. And I miss my chili, my spicy food. It's just, I've been eating too much tomato sauce, the Italian sauces, but they use lots of tomato. So basically I have, I'm having tomatoes or uh, in my salad, I'm having tomato sauce for my pasta, tomato, and I, I basically I've been eating too much um, Italian and um, Indian curry, vegan food. Ah, it's good. It's good. I'm not complaining. It's just um, I I can actually we can we can order, we can order food from outside and, uh, uh, but I try to avoid that. Yeah, just try not to eat too much and um, the food is um, for some people it's quite a small smaller portion but uh, for me it's uh, it's really good just uh, i i don't i try not to eat too much there's no cake or bread white bread one thing i really miss in germany is their bread broad schwarz broad it's really for me some schwarz Broad, black bread, because in, in Germany, the, the variety of black bread is so many. But uh, I think in Australia, we, we, we are having too much rice. Uh, rice, rice, that's German, <laughs> white bread. <laughs> oh, man, that's bad. Yeah, so, um, yes, that's, um, I, I, I just feel um i'm having a little bit um quarantine fatigue um but i think i'm i'll be okay yeah that's natural i can't say it's not being honest just say oh everything is fine i'm doing well oh you can see i'm still cheerful i'm i'm, I'm a naturally cheerful person and uh positive but yes this is quite uh, tiring to be isolated and um, I seriously hope this. I I, I just um, for me uh, for me I have no problem being alone. 
but I, because we have little kids, you know, babies, uh, toddlers in our group, I seriously don't know how how they can cope. I don't know. I don't know what they feed on um, little young children. This kind of isolation. I think that's really, really. I feel really, really sorry、uh, for the kids or babies. Okay, yeah, that's um, um, but um, anyway, when I look at look outside, Australians they pretty much open. They in Adelaide they have the fringe、um, festival, kind of this festival. So I was going to show you a video I shoot from my view, but、um, the, the Wi-Fi here is quite slow, so I couldn't upload the video. So that's alright. Already show you my balcony. Yeah, Australians open, so、um, I'm in quarantine. Although I don't like it, but I think that's probably the sacrifice、um, I contribute to Australians, so they can have a open society, not、um, lockdown. And、um, yes, my friends. In Germany and Europe, they're talking about third wave, and、uh, um, I, I seriously don't like this lockdown. I think we have to cope living with this virus. This virus, of course, virus. So far, we have lots of varieties of variants of the virus. Of course, this virus they just mutate all the time. Um, I, I think、uh, keep knocking down. That's a very bad strategy. Hopefully, the vaccine will help a lot.、Uh, but I think、um, any lockdown or this kind of、um, this is a lockdown or isolation and quarantine, it's not pleasant. Yeah, if you can avoid it. Try to avoid it. <laughs> okay. Now let's um just uh say hello to everyone on my day eight. Um, of course I'm doing well and、um, share my experience with everyone. So next week this time I might do the last day of my quarantine or my not. So because、um, but. Maybe next time I'll show you some, show you around、um, Adel Adelaide when I'm out. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Thank you again, Mark. Thank you very much. Thank you all, my family, friends, for the, your help, and thanks for everyone watching. Okay, that's it for today. I see you next time. Bye bye. Hold、uh, on. <laughs> hmm.